Hey, what's going on everyone? MacBook here from MacBook Production and today I'm going to do the third part of my ScreenFlows 2.0 series teaching you guys what the Media tab can do. So without any further ado, let's get into this. Alright guys, now we're in the Media tab in ScreenFlow 2.0 after doing a small recording of my desktop uh, saying nothing for about two and a half seconds. Now when you're in the Media tab, you will see your video and your audio or whatever the content that you recorded. So if you recorded your built a microphone and your computer audio, that will be here as well. Now, what you can do from here at the bottom, you have two options, to add media or to add a recording. Now, add recording is very self-explanatory. All you do is click on add recording and it will, once again, it will bring up the recording shaded window and it will start recording again. Once you're done with that, the content will be automatically added in this Windows Media tab. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is the add media button. When you click on that, you get a window to browse through different files on your hard drive. Now, you can import pretty much any picture or any video you want into ScreenFlow's document. And I'll show you the best part in a minute. So let's import this Twitter image that I just got off the internet. And like every other content, it shows an icon of it in the media tab. And you can, again, click, hold, and drag it into your timeline. Let's just rescale that so you can see a little bit better. And here is the picture right here. Now, now let me tell you, it works great with PNGs because you can clearly see there's an alpha channel. Let me just bring this picture down behind it. And there we go. That PNG is transparent. Now the best part about importing media into this is that it treats it exactly the same as any other item in your timeline. So you can go ahead and animate this in the video properties. You can add a video action, you can change a whole bunch of parameters just like you will do in your screen recording. You can scale the screen recording down, you can rotate it a little bit, reposition there. You can take this Twitter bird, reposition it here, you can add a video action. So once it reaches about three seconds, you can click on add a video action, you can scale this up you can rotate it and that's it then you go to about four seconds you can add another video action and you can make it fly away off the screen and what you have is a very simple very 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 simple animation right here and it flies away this is one of the best features of ScreenFlow. I love it. This is exactly what the media tab can do import, import any video any image and your mind can run wild and that is essentially all you need to know about ScreenFlow 2.0 from Telestream. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe on these videos and channel. And guys, over there to the right, you'll find my Twitter, my new site, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. Also, you'll find the link to Telestream's website and you'll find a list of keyboard shortcuts that you can use when editing in ScreenFlow. Thanks for watching. Once again, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see every single one of you next time right here on MacBoy Productions. Peace.